Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Morgan and I teach BDSM. Thank you so much for checking out this video. I'm really trying to get a few more videos out there for you guys. Uh, before we get into the one today, I just wanted to let you guys know that I actually have some merch. So the first thing that we put out are these lovely practice pillows. You have a front, you have a back, and I'm always telling you guys that you should practice your BDSM skills, your flogging, your caning, whatever, on a pillow. So these give you the perfect way to aim. So we've got this one with this chest, and then you can see another one behind me if you prefer a more masculine chest. So we've got that. We've got a few other things in our merch store. The artwork, I keep saying we, because the artwork is all original by my partner, Sage Noir. So I'll include his info on uh, in the description box because he is a great artist and does like BDSM stuff and he also does some horror stuff. And a lot of you guys already follow him, but the rest of you should. Speaking of which, if you aren't already subscribed to my channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so that you get notifications when I do get around to posting. So today we are going to talk about uh, something that I'm sure at least some of you guys out there have heard before, and it is that you are just too nice to be a dominant. So this is something that I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard before. It's something that I hear a lot of. Uh, and. I think for me at least, a part of it is because I am polite. So I am not the type to just, you know, bark orders at somebody. I will say, oh honey, can you do this for me please? Or whatever. Um, you know, to take it to the extreme, because I seem to do that all the time, I even say please and thank you to my dog when I tell him to sit or, you know, or if he's a good boy, I say, oh thank you good boy. You know, it's, I know it's kind of silly, but Look, I'm, I'm Canadian, we're polite people, it's just the way things are. <laughs> so then I guess we get to the question, can a dominant be too nice or do they always have to be like mean or harsh or that kind of thing? Well, obviously you guys know me, I identify as a dominant uh, and I, I am polite even uh, during play. Now, obviously if we have negotiated that I am going to be like the ice queen, uber bitch kind of thing, then I'm not gonna say please and thank you. But if it's just me not role playing, just being me, having some fun, well, yeah, uh, I'm going to be polite. I'm going to say uh, please and thank you or whatever when I do things. Um, that doesn't mean that I'm not going to, you know, giggle maniacally while I hurt people because it's also something that I do. Uh, so if you're a giggler out there, don't worry, you're not alone. Um, but you know, being mean for a scene is one thing, but if you are living in a 24-7 DS relationship or any kind of extended DS where, you know, it's not just, oh, okay, we're going to play for like an hour or two hours or an evening or whatever. If, if you take your, your domination and submission outside of the scene uh, sort of thing, then it sort of becomes a problem, right? So it can be, first off, I think it would be completely exhausting to keep up that like ice queen, uber bitch kind of uh, attitude all the time. I, it's just not me. I would be putting on an act, not being true to who I am. And you know, I would hate it. I would honestly, it would just be too much. I would not like it at all. And it, it's just, no. So there's that. I mean, like maybe if you are naturally kind of an asshole or something, then, you know, you could get away with it a bit better. But then I think you might also have a hard time finding a partner because no one wants to be with somebody who's a jerk, right? And who's mean all the time or that kind of stuff, right? So I find that these kind of things, you're, you're too nice to be a dom. These things are often said by people that don't have a ton of experience in BDSM or kink or DS or whatever. Um, and, and they do quite often tend to be the ones who watch a lot of porn. But I will link a video, I think it's up in this corner. I'll probably get it wrong again. But anyways, I will link the video that I made about how porn, BDSM porn, is not a reflection of real life so that, you know, you guys can see uh, my opinion on the matter. But also, you know, check out all of the, the, the pushback I got on that one. Man, that one pissed people off. 
who knew saying that porn isn't real would stir up such controversy. But here I am, very controversial in my opinions about porn not reflecting reality. Anyways, um, yeah, I do find that you're too nice to be a dom is something that gets said by a lot of people that just don't have the experience. Um, and I'm not saying that in a derogatory or a negative fashion. We all started out with no experience, right? There was a point in time when I had no experience in kink. And, uh, you know, some of you guys may be new. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you start telling people how it should be done, even though you don't have any actual experience yourself, that might be a bit of a problem. Um, you might want to just double check that you're actually correct in some of these things. But, you know, if you ask any experienced kingster, anyone who's been doing this for any length of time, and by that I mean like more than, you know, occasionally or whatever, but, you know, they will all tell you the same thing. They will all say that, you know, having this like super mean, tough persona, I mean, like that will work if you are, you know, say a professional and you're just seeing a, a client for like an hour or two hours at a time. It may work if you are one of those people that uh, chooses just to do, uh, have somebody that you meet up for a scene and then you don't see them outside of that. And, and it's just like, okay, we get together, we have a scene, we go. Um, so those are sort of more uh, transactional relationships, whether it's, you know, uh, with a professional for actual money or whether it's just a, a transactional, like you get yours, I get mine, and then we go our separate ways kind of thing um, where no money is involved. But so it's okay, you can kind of make it work for those situations, but for anything else, if you're gonna spend time outside of a specific scene where we're playing, then, you know, you can't really just be a bitch all the time. I was gonna say another word that I'm sure YouTube would give me shit for. <sighs> Look at me swearing all over the place. So I think the important thing to remember here is that dominance is about authority, right? It's not about, uh, you know, being a bitch, being an asshole, or being domineering, or overpowering, or any of that kind of stuff. Being a dominant is about having and holding authority within your relationship that you have negotiated with your partner and, and that's it, right? So I don't have to be a bitch to have authority in my relationship. I just have to negotiate with my partner the areas that I have authority over and that's it. Um, you know, and I can exercise that authority by saying yes or no to certain things or whatever, but again, no need to be a bitch. So, you know, being a bitch or whatever while I exercise that authority would be kind of pointless. Um, you know, there's really no purpose to it. And yeah, it might be sexy within, you know, a confined time and everything like that. But if I suddenly started, you know, yelling at my partner all the time and, you know, acting this way, he would very quickly be like, is everything okay? What is wrong with you? I don't know what's going on. So just keep that in mind that domination is about authority, not being an, an asshole. Um, and if somebody tells you that you are just too nice to be a dominant, you are clearly not compatible and it's best just to move on. So I'm gonna leave it there, guys. I just wanted to do something kind of quick and uh, address this because it's something that I hear a lot of and it's something that uh, people ask me about all the time because you guys are hearing it too. It's being said to you. So like I said, just take it for what it's worth. If somebody tells you you are too nice to be a dominant, you know you're not compatible with them. Um, you know, chances are they've got sort of a distorted view of what a dominant is. Um, again, quite often from very little real life experience and a lot of porn or, uh, you know, maybe they have the experience of, of going to a professional or, uh, you know, watching, uh, doing like uh, online domination, that kind of stuff. But I doubt they would have very much real life experience. So anyways, guys, thank you once again for uh, watching this video, especially if you've made it all the way to the end. Uh, I will leave some links for you guys of, you know, some videos and uh, the merch and Sage's accounts so you guys can follow him as well. 
have a good day and I'll see you guys in the next video.